off. Hello everybody, my name is Luke, welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully you are all having a fantastic day so far. Um, I know I am. It's a good day today, nice little bit of driving. Can't moan, it's really good. Where am I at the moment, I hear you say? Um, I'm in Banbury. I got transferred over to Banbury today. Um, well, for the morning at least anyway. And um, I got two scheduled runs to this site where I am now. I've got the uh, GoPro on the back and it's paver work, so I'm going to be tipping into a paver. The last video I uploaded, I think it was titled Not, Not Tipping There, that was into a paver, but it was in such a way where you didn't really see much action because the paver got loaded and then it fucked off around the corner. Whereas here, there's a chance that you're going to see the paver a lot more and I might even end up getting pushed. It is very foggy out there, that's the only problem. It is proper foggy out today proper foggy so um yeah what what we do i think is um when matey boy comes out we're reverse back and uh, hopefully you can see it all happening right hello everybody we're just about to go back onto the paver just moving out the way from my mate pete <laughs> apparently it's really sticky stuff this tarmac The sun is proper blinding as well, that's why I got my glasses on. My sunglasses, I should say. Right, and back we go. It's still quite foggy. It's not as foggy as it was earlier. Reverse around that little bend, mate. <laughs> Cheers. Sometimes it's nice having a bank spun, sometimes it's just not obviously needed. But each to their own. If they want a bank spun, neither, that's fine. Can't, wouldn't say no to that. It's more up here I need them because I can't exactly see where the paver is. But I also got to make sure I don't run over the fucker. Oh, there's a drain there. He hasn't exactly made me aware of that, but I have missed it anyway. There's a drain there. Missed that one as well. If we go over the drains, two things can happen. A, we could damage the drain and then only one needs to be put in, uh, or B, it can actually slice our tyres open. So we've got to try and miss as many drains as possible. Well, I see the paver, but it is not facing me. So it might actually be one of those things where he comes to me, I have a tip, then he fucks off and does his thing. But at least you'll be able to see him. Matey boy hasn't told me to stop yet. Going backwards. Right, so I'm going into the paper by the looks of it. That's me slamming on the brakes, by the way, not actually hitting that. So our first lift, it's quite cold lately, you can see my breath, kind of, but the sun is fucking blistering mate. Mm, 
his hand movements aren't the best. He was telling me to go out there, but it looked a little bit like he was telling me to go forward. Yeah, one of his hand movements were up then. He sort of looked a little bit like he was telling me to go forward. Well, obviously, I can't go forward because I've lifted my body up. So you've got to use a little bit of uh, common sense. He just showed out, go forward, so I think he'll tell me to go forward in the future. So I'm just cleaning my mirrors up because they're a bit dusty on their way over. I might do that one over there as well. I should have time. The paver's quite close to me. You can still hear me quite clearly because I got the mic on. But you might actually be able to see my ass, so I do apologise for that. In fact, I might blur it out. <laughs> Ugh, come on. There we go. My mirror's now clean. Paver's gone back away. Air is going to build up in my seat, so I lift back up again. <laughs> right. So yeah, this is pretty much what it is with paperwork. It's just um, one or two things can happen. Either A, I, I tip into the paper and then he fucks off and does his thing. Or B, I tip into the paper and he pushes me. And I suspect they will probably push when they get to this bit. So on my second run, they might push me. But doing quite a bit out the back. They're using wheelbarrows as well. My back door's open and they're using a rake and sort of scraping it into a wheelbarrow and they're tipping the wheelbarrow over as well so um, looks like they need quite a bit of tarmac over there. doesn't look good in front you see Pete's lorry you might just be able to make out his feet <laughs> he's in the back cleaning up that's apparently how sticky this shit is so that's not good my bed tends to be all right like it's not too bad so hopefully most of it comes off I do have a little bit of hard tarmac stuck at the front of the body, which I couldn't get off, so I need, it needs to be warmed up so I can shovel it out. So I'm hoping this load will um, either take it out or warm it up enough so I can get in and shovel it out. I expect I need to get in and shovel it in a sec. But there isn't a lot of space to do it in. I'll have to, if, there's no other lorry here yet, the next load end here. So I expect what I'll do is, um, if they do turn up, I'll um, let them in and I'll just do it where he is now, where Pete is now. Yeah, is this SMA, is it? No, it's just normal 20 mil, but for some reason it seems to be quite sticky, according to Pete. Never mind. Yeah, what I do now is um, speed up the footage of the, of the, the paperwork and um, I'll be back with you guys in a second when we are on the road. Oh, actually, we're we going back for a tip now. No, look like we're going back for a tip then. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, speed up the footage and I'll see you soon. Okay, so we're done now. We're on our way out of the site. Nice and easy that job was. Unfortunately, um, I wasn't always really close to the paver. The paver went back quite a few times. And um, yeah, you're welcome. Dickhead didn't even say thank you. Um, yeah, the paver wasn't always that close to me, so he didn't see an awful lot of it. And um, 
I had trouble getting onto the paper every now and then because it fucking my gearbox wasn't very good. Better tell him where it is. Right, mate. Right, one in I. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Hang on. My area, mate. Nor mine. Where are you? Quick laid. Uh, Morris Holmes Banbury. Yeah. Yeah. Just go straight in, follow the road, and you'll see them. They're on the right hand side. Your man, you said your quick laid. I'm standing. Is what it is, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I see you later. See you later, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that guy comes from Stankham. I've come from Cricklade, and we're in Banbury. There's there's plants all over, and it looks like we've all come to Banbury today. Uh, yeah, like I was, try I was trying to say, the. Um, the paver, it was um, not always in sight. It wasn't, I wasn't always real close to it, which is a shame because I wanted it to be pushed so you can see it a bit more. But um, I kept having problems getting onto the paver, like the gearbox on this thing. One minute it don't go, the next minute it's fucking ramming backwards. That's why when I was uh, vlogging when I was doing it, I had to slam on the brakes quickly because all of a sudden it just went back. And it kept doing it, just kept fucking all of a sudden there's nothing and next minute there's everything that sun's gone away a little bit now so let me put my specs on so that was a bit annoying but um yeah never mind anyway we've got to go back there now I'm gonna get loaded and go back and then i got to call my boss up and see where I'm to go because um I've written down on today's blog on lukecnhdv.co.uk. Um, I've written down that when I've done these two tips, my boss wants me to go and get loaded from somewhere else. Now, someone said to me to call him because he might want me to go to Tubby's. But um, I had a quick look online and I couldn't see any quarries called Tubby's. So um, I wasn't too sure where exactly I'd be going, but I've done a bit more research and on the A420 on the way back, which is the road I've got to take anyway to go back to quickly, there's a Hills's quarry called Tubney's, which is kind of similar and it's on the way. And Pete, who used to work for the same company, said he, he used to go there quite a lot. So, I mean, it's looking good that that could be where I need to go. And um, Pete reckons he always used to pick up from there and then take it to feel just um, off the junction of to Reading, so that would be quite a nice, nice little trip. One hour journey there, one hour journey back to the yard. That should tie up the day nicely after I've had my lunch and after I've done my second run. That's if that is where I am going. So we have to have to wait and find out. Unfortunately. Right, so we're just leaving the quarry now, where we're getting loaded, um, and. Just as you leave the quarry, you come to this roundabout. It's the worst roundabout ever. Like it's just so hard to get out of. We're on a on a hill to begin with, and there's a camber, and cars come down from the right so fast you just can't get out. No one wants to give way to you. When you do finally get out, you're slow to get out. I've been here waiting five minutes trying to get out. just takes so long to get out of here. You've got to time it perfectly. And even then you might get beat that. Come on. Might be able to go after this blue car. No, there's another car coming around. Now there's cars coming from the right. Hang on, might be able to go. No, can't go. Fuck's sake. It's honestly, the worst roundabout right we can go. Fuck off. I apologise for that. Road rage. It's just such a such a shit roundabout to get out of. And there was a fucking there was a Honda coming around the roundabout. I didn't see it. I set off, and five seconds into me setting off, it then comes around and beeps its horn. Like 
I already accelerated five seconds prior. Just does my head in. Car drivers just don't understand how hard it is for HGVs to pull out of junctions when they're fully loaded. They just don't understand. They come round roundabouts way too fast and then moon. Just does my head in. Never mind, we're off now, we're on our way. Right, so just done the second tip in Banbury. And um, there's no more work for me to do with regards to delivering tarmac but my boss does have work that needs to be done. So that's what I'm doing next, doing something for my boss. Let me just put the seatbelt on, I keep doing this. I like my seatbelt on first, then the mic, because then I can take the mic off if I need to. Right, yeah, so we've got to go to a place called Ducklington Quarry, been there loads of times before in the past. Um, and I've got to take it I'll take it back to um, Chalmix and Swindon, which again, I've been to loads of times before. He didn't even look. Fucking, what an idiot. Wasn't even looking then before he swung his arm into a road. Good job I was paying attention. Which, by the way, I'm gonna come onto this in a second. Anyway, I gotta go to, I gotta go to Kendrick, Chalmix and Kendrick, Swindon. Basically, been there loads of times before. It's gonna be an easy job. But that, what just happened, brings me on to my next subject. I had another message the other day from someone saying that um, I shouldn't vlog, I should concentrate more on driving and concentrating on the road ahead. He said, I'm not paying enough attention to the road. And that just goes to prove that I'm vlogging right now. But I can still fucking spot things happening. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I said to him, if anything, I probably drive more sensibly while I vlog because I know I'm being filmed. I put my phone up to him and he never even acknowledged me. <laughs> oh God. Unsociable bastard. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. Hopefully no one else beeps us as well today. That pissed me off when she beat me. I knew it was going to happen. As soon as I saw her come around last minute, I knew it was going to happen. But there's nothing I can do about it. She wasn't there when I accelerated. There's a good five seconds after me accelerating before I even saw her. Anyway. Yeah, someone um, someone said that I don't concentrate enough on driving. Uh, that I'm looking at the camera. When I look at the camera, I'm taking my eyes, my eyes off the road. Which, fair enough. Technically, I am taking my eyes off the road. Doesn't mean I'm not concentrating. Doesn't mean that I'm driving without due care. Like I said, when I vlog, I drive more sensibly because I know I'm being watched. I know that you're watching me, and I know if I drive too fast down this road, I can get done. Why would I feel myself doing something against the law? Especially when there's a good old 5 police officer there, look. Um, and I said to the bloke, I replied back to him, I was like, having kids in the back of your car is way more um, distracting than speaking to a one-inch camera just there. And I am essentially just speaking to myself. And. I said to him, I said, you take your eyes off the road loads of times during a normal journey, you know. What speed am I doing? Where's the sat-nav taking me? How much driving time have I got left? Is my indicator on? How much fuel have I got left? Oh, look, something's happened over there. Let's just take a quick look. Do you know what I mean? You always take your eyes off the road. There's a, an ambulance behind me. I'm looking in my mirror. I'm not looking ahead. I'm looking in my mirror, but I can still see ahead. It's just bollocks. Like... Oh, there's someone over there about to overtake me. I can still see. Even though I'm looking over there, I can still see there's a car waiting for me. I've recently had my eye test done <laughs> and I, I got maximum points on the, um, the preparable vision test. Maximum points. Every single one that come up, I got right. You just seen him put his beacons on because I, I forgot to take my beacons off. You could say I wasn't concentrating because I'm vlogging, but that's just not true. I always forget to take them off. <laughs> right. Well, they changed to amber a little bit too late. Had I stopped there, the car behind me would have gone right up my bumper. 
Is that person in the red coat going to cross, even though it's a green light for me? I thought she was going to. Yeah, I'm vlogging, but I can still see th things like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, I mean, by all means, everyone's entitled to their opinion, and I'm not saying that he's wrong, I'm just saying that I don't think I am losing concentration by vlogging. I feel like I drive fine while I'm vlogging. Like earlier when that car beats me, that wasn't because I was vlogging. It would have happened whether I was filming or not, that would have happened. Just a car driver going too fast round a roundabout. And then subsequently meeting a lorry halfway on the roundabout. And they beat the horn, like, just bollocks. Anyway, so um, this place we're going to, Duckleton Quarry, Gill Mill. Um, it's got a really nice long entrance going in, so I can stop on the way in, attach the GoPro on the back again, because I've charged it up a little bit, and um, get some footage of a dumper truck putting it into the back, because you've never seen that before. Um, and that'd be really cool. I'd probably even include a clip on the intro. What I want to start doing is, it's going to require a lot of effort, but my intro contains maybe, I think, five, five six clips, and like, a couple of them I want to change every now and then to what's coming up in the video, if that makes sense. So I've been doing this thing for a few videos now where at the beginning, do you see that ladder look right out in the road? Um, I've been doing this thing where um, at the beginning of each video, I show you a little clip of what's to come and then it cuts into the intro. I'm going to keep doing that, but also um, in the clip, if anything exciting happens, like a digger loading me that'd be in in the clip that's what i'm thinking i don't know anyway uh, i've got an hour drive to gill mill and then i get loaded um and then we will go to swindon i do need to have a break i'm just contemplating whether i should have it before or after i get loaded i don't know I might do it before i get loaded because i know i can stop on the services Yes. Anyway, um, I'll reconvene with you in a moment. Right, so um, we're here at Douglas Inn Quarry now. And um, just got to drive in, get loaded, and then go to Swindon. I still, I still haven't had my half an hour break yet. I've got an hour and 15 minutes of drive time remaining before I need to have a break. So I thought I'll try and get as far as I can on the roads before I have my break. Just need to put my sunglasses on because that sun's really getting quite bright now. Right. I haven't actually been to this quarry for um, a good couple of months, well, a good few months actually. So the stuff I need to get, I'm not entirely sure if it's actually in the same place still. But we'll find out. There used to be a woman who worked on the Waybridge here. I can't remember her name, but she seemed quite nice. Nice, nice lady. Massive swing in. Uh, can I have some recycled sand, please, on the account of Chow Mix? Is it for? Chow Mix. Chow Mix? Yeah.
about 19.8. Pardon? About 19.8. Uh, 19 and a half. 19.7 would be all right, yeah. 19.7, okay, yeah. you know where it is at the back? Is it round there and then sort of go round again? The conveyor straight on through the gap in the hedge up to the recycling plant. Cheers, thank you. Recycled shark plant. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, it was the same woman who used to work here, well, worked here when I last came here. It's quite nice. I don't mean nice as in good looking, I mean nice as in kind. Do I mean? Like, like then, you just heard her, she tells you where to go. Some people just say, yeah, around the corner, fuck off. But she actually explained where it is I gotta go. Uh, this place as well, it's, it's quite awkward to get loaded. The way they got their, um, their heap of sand situated, it's just awkward to be loaded. Because I've got to get loaded from this side. Normally I do anyway. And the digger is on the left hand side of where the pile is. So it, sometimes I've got to face the pile, sometimes I've got to get loaded from the left hand side. But we'll wait and see. The GoPro on the back should be on. So you should be able to See? For some reason my rear view camera isn't working at the moment. Ah, oh, there we go, it's back on. Right, if he's loading there, then I think I'll just sit here. Hopefully this will be alright. Yep, seems to be low to me. And we are taking this to Swindon. We're taking it to Chalmix in Swindon. Uh, Chalmix at Swindon. I think it takes about an hour, maybe an hour and 15 to get there. Let's see what this says. Sat nav is saying it will take. Come on, load up. Okay, South Africa isn't loading up at the moment. Is that it? So he should beat me in a second to say it's done. Or put his thumb up, or something. I would have thought you'd done one more, at least. Uh, Something I was saying, one hour and three minutes. So yeah, between one hour and one hour and 15, like I said. Although, it is taking me left out of the quarry and we're not allowed to go left. So, yeah, it's taking me a completely different way to what I will actually be going. I need to go to Whitney, go on to A40. Might go through, yeah, I need to go to, what's it called? Lechlade. Is it Lechlade? Yeah, Lechlade, need to go to Lechlade. So I need to go to that junction, A361. Let's put that in, using routes, add to current route. Sorry, I'm just mumbling to myself at the moment, I'm just trying to work out the uh, quickest route to get there. So, matey boy should be uh, finished loading me in a sec. He's gonna tap me down. He's gonna put that in the bucket and then he should tap it down so there's not a heap. So 
So it's tapping it down now. And then it should beep his own. That's that done. I've got to close my sheet lamp now. If it will shut. Need a bit of a heat. There we go, it's all shut up. And off we go out of here. Sat nav, I believe, now is taking me in the right way. And you're saying it's going to take an hour and five minutes. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop and stop and have a break on the way because I've only had a 15 minute break so far today. We're about three hours and 20 minutes driving now. And then if I have a break, as soon as I've finish my break, go straight there, and then sorry, I thought the wash was shut then my eyes, yeah, have my break, go straight there, and then finish with the day right okay, why is my window not going up for some reason, my window isn't going up there we go that's odd didn't really want to go through the wheel wash with my window down. <laughs> so I just thought I stopped, turn the engine off, or turn the ignition off, and try again. This is a great wheel wash. I generally really like this. The wheel wash we use at Isa Manor Quarry if I can chuck dirty water all the way at the top. get some fresh water on my window right so just need to take my mic off and my seatbelt because I need to go on the way bridge and then get out of the cab and grab my paperwork as soon as he goes there we go hopefully I don't weigh any more than 32 I'm just going to come to a stop while I uh, put my mic on. Let's go. So, uh, yeah, now we're loaded. Got um, just under 19, well, just over 19 tonne of concrete sand. And uh, going to go take it now to Chalmix. 
who is a small, well, I think they're quite big actually, but the, the, this yard is quite a small yard and they must operate maybe two, maybe three cement mixers out of it. Not big cement mixers, just little ones. So I think the business is relatively small. It's not a large company. It's nowhere near as big as the company that I work for, as far as I am aware. So yes, um, that's it for the moment. I guess um, I'll probably come back and talk to you guys when I am at the site. Right, so we're just turning up to this place now. The Chow Mix in Swindon. This is going to be a straight tip, so I'll undo the sheet and um, you'll, you should be able to see the sand come out, which will be pretty cool. Should be able to anyway. All right, it's just in here. Um, I don't know if it's me, but they look like they're fucking shut. Yeah. Let me go see him. I think he's shutting up for the day. Yeah, he was just about to lock up. <laughs> so, that was good timing. So I just need to reverse him there. Obviously the uh, rear view camera should now be on. Just going to undo the sheet while I'm reversing. Although I probably shouldn't because you've got to get this reverse just right. I was a clip the wing mirrors. There we go, we're in. Bye bye. All done. Thank you. That's the paperwork signed for as well, so as soon as I've done this, just go straight back to the yard. That's alright. Right, just tip in here then. Right, so first thing I need to do is open up the tailgate. Also need to engage the diff lock. Just keep an eye out for the tailgate opening. Okay, it's now open. Now we lift the body up. So this will be quite cool for you to see. See it all come out. Nothing's come out yet, they mind. There we go, it's all coming out. Right, so at this current moment in time, nothing else is really coming out. Um, and what I do is I just lift the body up like I am now, and right about here, take the handbrake off, and then my foot's on the brake at the moment, I just slowly let it off, and it pushes me forward. The amount of weight on the back is pushing the sand out, so it's pushing me forward. And when I stop like I have now, I just lift it up a little bit more. Well, I lift it all the way up to the end now, pretty much. 
that noise means it's at the end and I just slowly roll forward okay now I put it into gear pretty much empty now just the last little bit there we go do a couple of hard brakes just to get any last bit off black and brake so it seems, sounds like I've got quite a bit left on there so now I need to go and have a look and um, I'll bring you with me I'm not sure if the sound works straight away when I unplug it or not right so I just Put the body down and just have a look on the inside. Yeah, lovely and clean. Say hello to the other camera. All I've got to do now is just clean up all this little bit here. Yeah? I would normally wear gloves, but um, I didn't put them on when I come out, so fuck it. Just, just tidy all this there. Okay. So now I'm just going to put you back and I'm just going to close the tailgate up. Put you back up there. Put the proper mic in. Close the tailgate. Saves doing it later. Put you there for a sec. Right. And that's that tip done. And now I'm back in here. Got this GoPro back. Excellent, so we're all done now. Let's rock and roll. Just let them know that I'm done. And now you can close the gates back up. Right, so that's it, that's all done now. Hopefully you can hear me properly. I don't know what it sounds like when I unplug the mic and plug it back in again. You want to let me through? There he is. Unfortunately, I'm the biggest thing around here at the moment. So, uh, people will give way to me. <laughs> Unfortunately for them, that is. Fortunately for me as well, because I got to navigate around these fucking cars. <coughs> right, let's get out of here. So yeah, I should be in the yard for about half past three so it's not bad time to fill up with fuel and stuff like that it will be um, time to go home so today's not been a bad day whatsoever hopefully you guys have enjoyed the content I provided today uh, so you saw a bit of paperwork saw a bit of loading saw a bit of uh, tips straight tips 
That's good. Got a bit of footage done today. I'm not entirely sure how long it's going to take me to edit this. I'm going to try and edit it tonight. Seeing as I'm finishing relatively early and I feel like editing. <laughs> so I'll try and do it tonight. But it doesn't mean it's going to be uploaded the same day. Don't forget guys, check out my um, my website, lukecnahtv.co.uk. I do a daily blog on there. Every single day I do a blog. And um, if you kind of want to sort of know what I've been up to, then that's uh, definitely a good place to go and visit. I've been looking at the specs, or the analytics of um, how many people have viewed my site. And uh, each day I'm sort of averaging 60, 70 people, so, um, which I'm happy with. But I know a lot more of you watch my videos, so um, feel free to go and uh, check out that blog every single day. Thank you, mate. Let me just navigate around this roundabout a second. Which, by the way, again, to that person who says I don't concentrate when I'm vlogging, if I feel like I need to spend more time concentrating, I do. I stop talking so I can concentrate. And I just want to get out of this roundabout because it's a bit of a biatch to get out of. There we go. No beeps this time. Just going to turn down the heat in. It's a bit hot in here. Right, so uh, yeah, thank you everyone who's watched this video. Um, don't forget to like and comment and all that. I do uh, read every single person's comment. I may not necessarily reply black back to you, but I 100% read everybody's comment. I kind of uh, kind of addicted to reading the comments. If I'm honest, I check my phone like every hour or two to see who's commented, <laughs> and um, I do try to comment back to most of you. So yeah, um, like and comment. If you haven't already liked my Facebook page, go ahead and do that. It's facebook.com forward slash HTV. I've just hit 700 follows. And um, again, that's brilliant. I've got 5,000 subs on here though. So uh, if the other 4,300 of you want to go and like my Facebook page, go ahead. Um, I do behind the scenes sort of pictures uh, and the odd video on my Facebook page. In fact, just today actually, I've done a, a live video while I was driving. So I didn't actually um, talk or answer any questions or anything like that. You were just set up, set up over in the corner of my cab and you were essentially a webcam for half an hour. Just uh, done that today. Think about doing that a little bit more often. I think about doing some live videos while I'm on my break as well, if that's the sort of thing you're into. The only problem with that is obviously not everybody will be able to watch it when I'm live and I don't know when I'm going to be live. So it's a bit hit, hit and miss really, but you can always watch it after I've uh, done it live. So yeah, check out my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash LukeCNHTV. Check out my web page, which is www.lukecnahtv.co.uk. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, drive safe. Goodbye.